Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is EverQuest Project 1999. And today we are on the green server on my Necromancer Warlock. And no, we're not doing this camp again, don't worry. Kinda. But uh, I got two bubbles into 60. I got my big time buffer, at least two deaths there, maybe three. Uh, when I died, it took away, I would say, uh, three quarters of a bubble. So I probably need... Uh, let's see, three quarters and three quarters is what? Uh, six, uh, eights, which is what? Uh, math. Two, no, I don't know, whatever. Uh, three fourths? Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, three quarters is about what I lose each time, so I need a little bit more than that, I would say. Um, <clears throat> maybe like two and a half would buy me, uh, two and a half, like halfway through my level would probably buy me three deaths. So... Kind of going for that right now, to be super safe. But anyway, what we're going to go over in this video is kind of a Necromancer beginner video on my 60 Necromancer with the Spectre pet you get to see for the second time here. Um, been at this Mountain Giant camp all day. They're six-minute spawns. They're not social. They are indifferent. Like, they're really awesome for experience, but no plat or anything. What I want to go over today is how to fear kite as a Necromancer. And what you're going to need to fear kite as a Necromancer is... First of all is fear, so some sort of fear spell. Whatever you got would work, but uh, I got Invoke Fear, which is one of the best fears in the game, I would say. Then you're going to need also a Snare. So I don't know exactly what level Necromancers... I mean, pretty much right away, right? I mean, fear is pretty, pretty quick. I mean, we could look... Uh, let's see here. Let's look at a book. Because everything's in level order still, which I think is kind of neat. Some people hate my my stuff here but yeah you get it pretty pretty soon i'd say by level four or eight at the latest but got fear here you can use and then um when it uh clinging darkness so if you're a really early necromancer you would you would need fear clinging darkness and leering corpse i guess um because you want your pet or converting bones or whatever you got uh because that's what you need to do fear kiting you need a fear a snare and a pet and that's mainly what you need plus a dot is nice especially a dot that does no direct damage so i don't know what do you got what do you got here does poison bolt do direct damage um you'd want a, a i like to use dots that don't do any kind of direct damage not not on cast and just not at all and you don't want to do any like direct damage either like you don't want to do your life tap you don't want to do any kind of um nukes you want to do dots that do not do direct damage you want to send your pet on it you want to but anyway let's do uh, let's do it here so first thing you want to do you want to make sure you're liched just uh because you're going to want to sit while this is happening and you want to get mana back so you can keep doing it over and over and over so you definitely want to be liched i like to power up my pet with his pet spell but that's up to you some people worry about pets stealing experience and stuff i didn't worry about it at all and i'm all the way to 60 with two bubbles so that's up to you if you want to really worry about that but i think you don't need to worry about it as much as certain people do just take that down a notch you don't have to really it's not that big of a deal maybe if you're like an enchanter or something i don't know but for Necro, the Necro pet isn't crazy doing crazy amounts of damage. It's just another dot. So as long as you throw a couple dots on the uh, on the mob, two or three dots on the mob, you should be good to out damage your your pet. Your pet's just another dot. So it's one dot, and hopefully you have two or three on the mob, which should be enough to kill it. And you're probably gonna refresh those a couple dots too, maybe depending on how long the battle is. But with fear kiting, you definitely want to do it somewhere where there's a lot of room and no add. Nothing's going to add on. So right here, they're not social. They're they're indifferent and all that. So they'll never they'll never run far enough to to add. They never run up there to those giants or anything. So we're good with that. That's one thing you need to first thing you need to figure out. You need to have a lich. You need to have a pet summoned. You need to find a good spot to where you can fear them and they're they can run all over the place and not grab anything extra. So like in Skyfire, for example, I'll pull something to the side of a hill where I know nothing else spawns, and that's where I will fear kite, where I know nothing else will spawn. Or at the Burning uh, Woods zone line, there's a huge like football field of an area where there's no mobs. You can fear kite there. Just, I mean, in Northern Row with the guards, there's nothing that's going to add there. It's just the guards. You can fear kite there. Like, I fear kite all the time, so... And when you can't, you just root rot instead. Maybe I'll make a video on that also. Or you let your pet tank and blah, blah, blah. 
So not something you're going to do in dungeons, but outdoor zones where you know it's a little safe area, you can fear kite. So anyway, let's get into this. Um, so I'm liched. I have my pet summoned. I buff up my pet, right? It's only a three-minute buff, and I, who knows how long I've been talking here. So we'll buff him up again just to make sure. And now we are going to snare. The first uh, step of after liching and getting your pet up and buffing it if you want. After that, the first... Uh, thing you want to do when you're fear kiting is snare. So we're going to snare this Eldak Cowling Bear. It's going to take him forever to run to us. And while he's doing that, we're going to... I like to hit him with another dot, like splurt first. Send my pet in. And then we want to fear him. So essentially what fear kiting is, you're just... He's feared, he's snared, he can't go very far. And um, your pet's just beating the crap out of his back. So a rogue pet is really nice for that. And I need the Vexing Mordania to counteract my Lich, which is really eating away my HP, but it's giving me mana back. So we do that. And now I just sit and I watch. You just sit, you meditate, you might have to re-fear it. You may have to do some, depending on how long your dots last or whatever, or how what kind of you know mob you're facing. Like I used to fear kite crocodiles in Oasis, and I could kill reds and yellows like this. That's the best part of fear kiting is as long as your your spells land, you can kill almost anything. As long as you can get the snare and the fear on it, and he's running over to hit me, so I'm going to run away, and I'm going to fear again. He's snared, so it's all good. And I he resisted. That's fine. We'll just run around. He's snared. It's all good. And I'll just get another fear on him, and then I'll be able to sit for the rest of the fight. What'd I do there? I freaking did a... <laughs> you guys are seeing me do it wrong here. Come on, fear. We'll do another mob so I can get this perfect, but I've been doing this all day, and of course, as soon as I do a video, I cast the wrong spell. But yeah, he's feared again. My pet's just going to beat the crap out of him. He's going to die. But like I said, you could you can fear kite like yellow crocs in Oasis. Red crocs. As long as your spells hit, you're good. And the only thing you really, really need to, to kill stuff like that is a snare, a fear, and a pet. And, is, and you don't really want your pet getting that experience, so you really want to hit some dots on them too, and try not to do too much direct damage. It's kind of like root rotting where you don't... I'm not sure 100%. I don't want no technically basement boys in the comments telling me I'm wrong or whatever. I'm just saying I think, I think, and I try, and this is the way I do it, and I've been doing it for 60 levels and just fine. What I think is you don't want to do direct damage because that makes the fear wear off quicker, just like root. So you want to do dots, you want to check your dots, like I use, um, I use, uh, Splurt, which does no direct damage. I use, uh, Cessation of Core, which is a g really good one, because it lowers, like, their AC and, uh, something else so your pet can hit harder. And it's also a dot. And then, uh, of course, the Vexing Mordania, or the Bond of Death, or whatever it is, where you get HP back, it's like a life tap dot, but it doesn't do any direct damage. And there's even more, I could add another dot to this if I really really wanted to I could do my pyrocore as well and like have tons of dots on them but I don't want to do that because this is enough for this camp and this is what I need for this camp so it's all good but let's do this again and I'll re-explain and everything so once again fear kiting an area where you won't get any ads because this guy's going to be running all over the place so you need to make sure he's not going to run to something else that's social right you need Lich, so you can meditate while this is happening. You need a pet, so it can beat the crap out of the back of it. You know, hit him from behind. Um, and then you need some dots. So you need snare, fear, dots, pet. You're good to go. And an area to do it. That's safe. Alright, so we're going to Dooming Darkness. That's our snare. So first of all, you snare. Well, you Lich, you buff up your pet. So Lich and pet. First thing, you're getting prepared before it happens. Alright, then it's snare, whatever snare you have. I do this kind of funny, but... You know, I boot in between. If you got boots, boot. I like to... Ah, I just did it wrong. Man, I keep doing it. Anyway, I'd like to splurt or something while it's running to me. Send my pet on it. Boot up. Fear it. Then, you know, hit him with all my dots. I got Cessation of Core. I got uh, Vexing Mordania. And then you just take a seat. 
One thing that's going to happen is the giant's going to change directions, run different ways. So he'll never run in like one direction forever. He'll eventually change directions like you just saw there. Sometimes he'll run towards you while, and you know that the fear's going to wear off and it happens way more than it should. He'll run closer to you and then his fear wears off right at the wrong time and he'll punch you in the face a couple times. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Just run away in fear. You can try to sit somewhere if you can figure it out like to where he won't. Like right now, you see that? he's gonna His fear's going to wear off. He's, see? Right there. That always happens, but it's good. It's not going to kill you. Maybe on like the crocs, if you're doing like yellow or red crocs, maybe you'd want to like make sure that doesn't happen. Get up and move, I guess. That just kind of disrupts your, your mana generation, though. So I'd rather just take the punch to the face with Vexing Mardania on, which is, you know, it doesn't hurt too bad. But yeah, just that's all fear kiting is. Find a nice area. Um, to where nothing's gonna add. Um, make sure you lich so you can get your mana back while this is going on, because it's really passive. Dots and pet and fear and snare, it's really passive, so you're gonna be sitting, you need to lich. Um, a pet, a rogue pet will backstab when you're fear kiting, so a rogue pet is a good choice. I'm using my specter because I paid 27,000 plat for it, so I'm definitely gonna use it. But, uh, rogue pet's really nice for this, because he will backstab. Because they're always he's always behind them because they're running away. Um, so yeah, snare, then fear, send your pet on it. Dots. I usually snare, and then while it's coming towards me, I do a, a splurt, my best dot, my longest dot. And then I fear. That's just the way I do it. But you can snare, then fear, send your pet, then dot them up. As many dots as you can do that's not overboard and like taxing your mana too much. Um, and then sit down. Get your Lich going on, have your Vexing Mordania counteracting your Lich, your pets fighting it, um, hitting it in the back, backstabbing, whatever you're doing. And then when the, the fear wears off, which it probably will at least one time if you're killing appropriate mobs that give you experience, you're going to have to stand up, you're going to have to fear it again, but that's probably all you're going to have to do. Um, that's all I've had to do for a long time now. Maybe if you have shorter acting dots, you may have to reapply dots. Maybe if your snare's not too great, you may have to re-snare, but it's pretty much just that. Uh, area, wide open area where stuff doesn't add, you know, lich, pet, buff your pet, snare the thing, hit it with your best dot, fear it, send your pet on it, dot, dot, sit, lich, vexing Mordania is going, lich is going, they're running around, your pet's hitting them from behind, backstabbing while he's running and he's snared, he's slowly running away from you, while he's dying to dots, your dots will out damage your pet, and, uh, he'll... The fear will wear off eventually. You'll have to stand up and fear him. Make sure he's not walking right by you if you care about that while he, his fear goes off. You fear him again. You sit. You meditate. And as soon as it dies, you find your next target and you do it again. And you can do... I have a video where I was killing yellow and red crocs in Oasis by fear kiting. So maybe I'll try to link that at the end of this. I'll, I'll see if I can find that video and I'll link it like right about now somewhere around here. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. And I will see y'all next time. Click that video if you want to see yellow and red crocs dying to fear kite. Necromancer's rule, baby. Peace.